care. My hair's done. I'm going to get my socks on. So, a little nervous, eh, Grendler? Uh, not at all. I'm perfectly calm. My blood pressure's 120 over 80, and I at the acceptable rate. Hey, you don't have to cover with me. I mean, today's the big day, right? Big day? What big day? I wonder if the boys remembered. You tell me. DJ combed his hair. Mikey tucked in his shirt. Vince is wearing a tie. Apparently they did remember. Remember what? Ooh, don't you boys look nice? What's the occasion? Dress up to chubby cheeses. I mean, it's great. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. Yeah. Just tie. admit it. You guys got dressed up for the big day. What big day? Today is the day the teachers turn in their annual budget requests. So? So one of the students has to deliver the request to room 101. You don't mean that's right. Right? One of us kids gets a chance to see inside the teacher's lounge. Wow! I don't think in any of the schools I ever went to, any kid ever saw inside the teacher's lounge. Not here either. But this time, we're not gonna blow it. Hey, I was in second grade. What? What happened? Well, I had a chance to see inside the teacher's lounge once. I'll never forget it. Mr. Yamashiro, I uh, have a folder for Miss Walton. Well, slip it under the door. Um, it's too big to fit under the door. Uh, hold on, I'm coming. <gasps> it all happened so fast. Now it just feels like some sort of crazy dream. But this time I won't blow it. Hey, Clutch Choker, what makes you think you'll get another chance? Actually, we all have the same bot to be selected. What do they do? Pick a name out of a hat? Well, that's not exactly how it works. You know, Miss Grookey, no one makes nines like you. Why, thank you, Spinelli. That's very sweet of you. By the way, Miss Grookey, that dress is very becoming. Bottle of green really brings out the yellow in your complexion. Thank you, TJ. Oh, Miss Grokey, you were right. There are 50 states. Do you really make geography come alive? You're Miss Grokey? Why, you look young enough to be the new student teacher. Oh, Vance. Here's your makeup quiz, Mikey. A D plus. All right, Miss Grokey. Now maybe I can fly in fourth grade and have you as a teacher for a whole another year. Oh, by the way, Miss Grokey, aren't you supposed to turn in the annual budget request today? Well, I believe young Theodore is right. Perhaps one of us should deliver it to the teacher's lounge. Good point. Now, who shall I pick? I think I should pick... One second. <sighs> ah, Miss Lemon, come in. I'm here to pick up them budget requests. <gasps> well, usually I just send them down with a student. Not no more. Prickly wants me to deliver them, personal-like. Very well. Here you go. What a fine idea. I mean, why interrupt our studies to run a silly errand? I can't believe you told her you like her nines. My dog makes better nines than she does. You look young enough to be the new student teacher. How do you live with yourself? Let's face it, we all debased ourselves today, and for what? Nothing. No one's ever going to get to see inside the teacher's lounge. Yeah, the Bunsen burners, the Petri dishes. Huh? What are you talking about? Well, isn't it obvious? They're teachers, right? Therefore, they must be utilizing their free time to push the boundaries of knowledge on every frontier. Ah, to be the proverbial fly on the wall. Mr. Yamashiro, come quickly! Yes, Miss Grokey? I have found the genetic key to learning. Why, with this serum, we can create a generation of Einsteins! I'll notify the newspapers. I'll bet you'll win the Nobel Prize for this! Gee, I'm running out of room. Hold on! The Smithsonian has confirmed my research. The Donner Party did run out of condiments. Wait, come over to the supercomputer! I've discovered a new trick for teaching the sevens tables. <gasps> but all the experts said it was impossible! Yeah, honey, well, the experts never met Muriel P. Finster. What? That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. That's not what they do in there. How do you know? Come on. Does the guy at Quick Omart spend his free time making slurpos? Probably not. Right. So if I'm a teacher, the last thing I'm going to do is waste my free time learning a bunch of dumb facts. Well, what do you think they're doing in there then? Working out. That's what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, my heart rate up to 145. I go another 20 minutes. I cool down. Quick round in the free weights. Back to class. Phew, bird. 
Come on, crazy legs, show me what you're made of. Well, okay, but remember, I've only had two lessons. Don't worry, Powerhouse Prickly's gonna go easy on ya. they're doing in there okay big guy you think you're so smart what do you think those teachers are doing in there well i know what i'd be doing i would be perfecting my innermost soul oh. 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 <laughs> when you can snatch these pebbles from my hand then you too can share the wisdom of the high administrator about two out of three. Walk across these hot coals and perfect the vision of your nirvana. I'll try. Oh, mama. What? And you thought my version was stupid? Not necessarily stupid, just say correct. On the other hand, my version was so better. Look, we can sit here and argue about this till we're in high school, and we'll still never know what the lounge is like. Or... You don't mean... Yep, we're going in. Hey! No running, big boy! How are we gonna get past her? I believe this is a job for the crier kid. So what are we talking here? Ten second job, or are you interested in our full service program? Full service, definitely. Okay, then you'll need to see my price list. Two bucks? This is playground robbery! Hey, I had to raise my rates. What with overhead, inflation, the rising cost of Kleenex? Well, that very well may be, but unfortunately, the subtotal of our financial assets is 98 cents. Hey, too bad. They won't even get you a decent sniffle in today's market. I'll give you a decent sniffle. Okay, okay. This and two candy bars and you've got yourself a deal. Give it up, Mike. We know you're packing. <sighs> okay, okay. What the? Okay, Bradley, calm down. What's the problem this time? That bit get out! I was on it! I didn't mean to hear me! Hear me. <sighs> wow, the teacher's lounge. Spinelli? He must just about live in the teacher's lounge. Now what do we do? Is Miss Grotke there? No, just me. Oh, sorry to bother you, Mr. Yamashiro, but we're supposed to tell Miss Grotke that her lime green convertible is on fire in the parking lot. Well, for your information, not only is she not here, but she doesn't drive a lime green convertible. I do! Ready? No laboratories, no high-tech gym, no spiritual awakening. All these years of wondering, and it turns out the teacher's lounge is nothing more than a nog-eyed couch and a busted coffee maker. <sighs> Come on, guys, let's get out of here. Lousy yeah, pranksters. There's not a thing wrong with my convertible. That's no kindergartner, that's my wife. <laughs> oh, 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 my wife. Oh, my wife. <laughs> that you, Yamashiro? Try this fashion. It's divine. <laughs> <laughs>